Hey guys and welcome to another edition of the Melbourne Victory Supporters Preview. Of course, I am Danny Ratnapinta. At the moment, we don't have Bryce Clayton with us because, of course, it is casual week. And I'm not too sure what uh, you know we're doing because we have a game against Sydney FC. Oh, Bryce, you joined us for casual week. Of course, I'm in my casual gear. Bro, come on, man. It's casual week and the Sydney f***ers are coming down here and they're going to rip up again. Oh, really? Yeah, well, it's f***ing bullshit, mate. It's f***ing bullshit. Okay, alright. It is actually bullshit. You realise every time you say bullshit, I have to bleep you out. Yeah, well, yeah. Ah, well still, you know, last time they come down here, yeah. and they've got their f***ing bullshit act going on, their casual act, they got their f***ing hoodie and their There were hats. a lot of casuals that one yeah, time. Yeah, they were. We lost five now. Exactly, you know, we're going out to the train station, they're all there, and all the seccos are everywhere, keeping yeah. them up. Last time we went to November, you know, um, round five against Sydney, we were down there, and they all come out and stab us with their knives. Tell you what I'm gonna do next time you come what, down what here. Are you, what are you gonna do with that? What is that? A I'm gonna b mate. I'm gonna b That's a butter knife. Yeah, butter knife, mother. Okay. All right. Uh, let's have a look at this week's feature. Um, you uh, did some research in Sydney FC, didn't you? Yes, I did. <laughs> okay, you're gonna go serious now. Uh, yeah, it was pretty good. Uh, you know, it's time for revenge, eh? Yeah. After that five 0 loss. <laughs> okay. Uh, Let's have a look at it. Uh, this week's feature, Sydney FC versus Melbourne Victory. Big Blue. Melbourne Victory versus Sydney FC. The Big Blue. One of the biggest games of the season. This time out we're playing for second spot and Sydney FC are playing for a place in the top six. Last time out it was a 5-0 loss to our boys in blue with the Sky Blues routing us at Etihad Stadium. Our previous game against Sydney FC saw a 3-2 loss of course in Sydney with Alessandro Del Piero scoring a penalty late in the first half after Sydney went down to 10 men. If our previous form is anything to go by, we should be in for a good game. A 2-1 win to the glory in Perth was a huge one with Mark Millian scoring an own goal, then redeeming himself from the penalty spot. Archie Thompson scored in the 90th minute and gave us a huge win and a huge three points. Thompson scores! The victory might have snatched it right at the death! Stunned silence here at Perth! After that, we headed back to Melbourne to play Yokohama. A 1-0 win on that occasion was enough for the Costa Barbarossa's goal in the ninth minute, proving the difference between the two sides. Last weekend's game against the Raw was a disappointing one, with Luke Bratton's 92nd minute goal shattering our fans. The Raw winning the Premier's plate, and of course, second place up for grabs now. Since our last game against Sydney FC, their form has not been the best. Three wins, one draw, and four losses coming from their eight games since then. Last weekend, the Sky Blues went down 3-1 to Adelaide. The Sky Blues will have to turn around their form if they're going to beat us at home. Lawrence Thomas has been in superb form of recent times and he is going to be, need to be on song if we're going to continue our recent good form. Can we overcome Del Piero's Sydney FC? We'll find out on Saturday night. Be there at Amy Park as we take on the Sky Blues in our search to return to second spot. Inspiring feature. I mean, that, that's, that's, that was pretty epic, man. Thanks, man. A bit too much, if you ask me. Let's just calm down with the production <laughs> music. Is. Anyway, so Sydney FC, uh, they're in, in decent form. They're seventh. They're trying to push for a top six position. Um, how do you see this game uh, playing out? I think it's going to be a pretty big game. I mean, you know, obviously it is because if we win, we'll be second. Uh, and of course, yeah. if Sydney win, they'll be back into the top six. So it's all to play for at the moment. And it's a bit difficult because we play the three teams the next three weeks that are fighting for the top six positions. Like, you know, the um that maybe maybe fifth to seventh or eighth is completely up for grabs. So You're right, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So it's gonna be pretty big. And I mean looking at Sydney's previous form, uh, they've got four losses uh, from their last time we played them, mm. with three wins and a draw. And of course they draw coming against the Premier's uh, Brisbane Raw. Yeah, it, it's so. gonna it's gonna be pretty tough. I mean, look, we're just fresh off a uh, one nil uh, loss to the uh, Brisbane Roar, of course. It was a uh, 
a pretty decent uh, game that we had against uh, the Brisbane Roar. Of course, uh, the last time around it was a 3-0 loss at home at Amy Park, and they absolutely outclassed up with some of the most world-class goals you'll ever see in the A-League. Mm. And of course, it was uh, Luke Bratton who uh, scored that uh, 90-second minute goal. Heartbreak for Mate, fans. I, I hate I conceding a 90th minute exactly. goal on FIFA, let alone in real life. I mean, that's what it was going to be a goal. It was going to have to be a quality one because Thomas had an extraordinary... Uh, look, I mean, I think we've been doing this the past few weeks. I mean, the defence sort of gives a really good long shot, like, a lot of space. Like, for example, mm. if you're playing Wellington Phoenix, you're not going to give uh, Carlos Fernandez yeah, exactly. a lot of space. But th- at the same time, then we had uh, <laughs> Lee Dong Gook, you know? He was able to have that shot because we didn't... You, do, we, you, maybe can't, we were, you can't leave that much space to those quality strikers. I mean, I guess they thought... Is it know, a lack of education? Luke, Luke Bratton, he's a young player. They thought I've maybe, seen him oh, score some you know, stunning goals. Exactly, before. he has scored from there like maybe th- three times this season now. He's done well, yeah. yeah. So it, we didn't want to do that. But look, you know, you, you don't want to let that happen. But uh, it, it, it was a decent performance irregardless of the result. Yep. Um, good crowd that went up to Brisbane as oh, well. Oh, definitely. They it recognised was it was a very important game, of course. Mm. It was a huge game. I mean, if we won, we were still in the chase for, like, the Premiers. Of course. Fight, so. But look, I mean, uh, still, because of that, besides the Guangzhou loss and the Melbourne Heart loss, we're, we've had a bunch of wins. We've and we've been, been in very good form, yeah. Great form. And I mean, of course, the draw against John Bork, the win against Yokohama last week, of course. We've had some good, good performances lately. We had the glory win, of course, we didn't oh, get yeah. to cover. Uh, 2-1 in that occasion. Yeah. We Thompson goal. We did it in the glory hole. We were able to beat them 2-1. Yeah. 90 odd minutes in, and Archie Thompson steps up and sends all of us into raptures, as I love to say. Uh, yeah, of course. No, it was, it was a top performance, and of course, the uh, three women of the Central Coast was very impressive. I think all round yeah. victory have been in great form, of course. We were second for a short while there. Now we're sitting on third, and yeah, we do want to you know, start to you know, improve uh, mm. our results to try and get that top two position. I do still see a huge chance of us finishing second, though, because of course, yeah. this weekend we've got uh, Sydney FC at home, yeah. and we will be out for a rent. Yeah, and of course, uh, let's look at Sydney FC's past few performances to really get an insight. Of course, we'll even go back to uh, the 26th of January, around 16, of course. The Melbourne victory versus Sydney FC. Yes, that was five a 5-0 nil. Nil loss. Uh, right, it pretty was, bad. Yeah, they thumped us. It was, yeah. it was a demolition job. I wasn't expecting that, and it was pretty hard to see the Sebrile score as well. That really oh. cut deep for victory fans. There is only one Sebrile. <laughs> one Sebrile. With a packet of sweets and a cheeky smile. Okay, we're not going to finish <laughs> yeah, that. Yeah, we're not going to finish uh, that. <laughs> um, anyway, since that last game, they've, of course, lost to Melbourne Heart. Uh, yeah. Lost to uh, Adelaide United as well and beaten the Perth Glory, which, I mean, everyone beats the Perth Glory, let's be honest. <laughs> and, uh, of course, beat the Newcastle Jets away from home. That's not easy. No. Uh, then they followed that up with a loss to the Central Coast Mariners and a uh, win against the Wanderers. That's yeah. definitely big. And, I mean, of course, we beat the Wanderers 3-1 as well, so that's pretty yeah, even. absolutely. And uh, then a draw against the Brisbane Raw, the mighty Brisbane Raw. In and Sydney, though, yeah. Yeah, and then follow that up with a loss to Adelaide United last weekend, so they'll be looking to that was, for I that actually well. really enjoyed that match, to be honest, because, yeah. uh, of course, Del Piero started. He, I don't think he had too much of, a, of an impact. You know, I tell you what I love from that game. Josip Gombau's oh, run. Gombau, wow. <laughs> That's just hilarious. Are they even allowed to leave the penalty area like that? I honestly that? don't know, but he sprinted down the sideline as fast as I've you, ever seen anyone. You call a like, sprint going at 2Ks <laughs> an hour. Yeah, well, uh, I reckon the key factors for this week's game will be that we're out for revenge after that 5-0 jobbing. Yeah. It's going to be pretty difficult, but uh, I think that we have the confidence. We are in really good form. I mean, you look at our last three games against Perth Glory, Yokohama, and of course the Brisbane Raw. We've only conceded two goals in three yeah. games. And compare that to conceding five goals in one game against Sydney FC. That's a huge improvement. And Thomas yeah. is looking in pretty good form, don't you reckon? Yeah, absolutely. I agree. So uh, Lawrence Thomas, of course, coming in uh, from the second team. Mm-hmm. Yeah, He wasn't really ever getting a real start. Exactly. And now since, uh, of course, uh, Nathan Coe's famous, infamous rather, uh, performance against uh, the Chinese champions, Guangzhou Grands. Uh, he wasn't selected for the next game. Uh, I think that something might have happened behind closed doors, but I think there can it has to be more than that. I'm not sure. That. Maybe I'm, I'm more not sure. to that than one just look through his hands. This really <laughs> resembles, in my opinion, uh, uh, Mitch Langrak. You know, of course, Langrak came in. I'm not saying uh, Thomas is anywhere near as good as Mitch Langrak, but he does resemble a bit of a situation. I believe it was mm. uh, Petkovic who was the first goalkeeper at the time. Langrak yeah. comes in for a lot of the Asian Champions League and really has a breakout performance. Eventually, gets signed by Borussia Dortmund. Um, so if I mean, we uh, don't want him to be that good because we don't want, if, we don't La- want to lose him if Lawrence uh, Thomas continues yeah. this way he'll be starting you know Manuel no eat your heart out mate he's coming straight for the Bayern Munich <laughs> you know starting I wouldn't go that far I reckon he's shown 
three good performances in a row. If he can continue yeah. this, then we'll be pretty Man happy. Man of the match in the recent game, wasn't Yeah, he? exactly. He's been yeah. team of the week this week, so... Of yeah. course. And of course, I think uh, all around, uh, there are some players that are really starting to cement themselves in the starting 11. Uh, yeah, Costa Barbarous. Costa Barbarous, yeah. of course. Archer Thompson hitting form again. I think... I, look, I mean, the thing with uh, Costa, of course, he has six goals all round this season. Yep. Uh, you know, including two in the Asian Champions League, which, uh, you know, I think he's been really instrumental in our Asian run because of the um, the way that we're changing the first 11 around and he might mm. not be starting uh, in the A-League, but he will be starting in Asia. Yeah. And, of course, four goals uh, in uh, the A-League. I think and, I mean, most of these have been recent goals as well. I mean, of course, of course. he had a goal against Yokohama, he had a goal against John Book, yeah. he had a goal against uh, Adelaide United recently yeah. as well. Yeah. So he's hitting some form and, and it's really good. It's the right time of the season to be hitting form. And, of course, our man Archie Thompson. Uh, 76, yeah, 76 goals he's sitting on mm. in his all-time tally. I really want to see him uh, pass Shane Smelt. And it'd be good. Uh, but, yeah, he's still got a way to go. He's still a couple off, I think. He's two He's one off. He's one off, yeah. yeah. Oh, here we go. Come on, Archie. We need yeah. to double this weekend against Sydney FC. Becomes the greatest striker <laughs> of all time, eh? Hey? Yeah, well, um, nah, it's good. I mean, he scored that 90th minute winner. He did. How good was that? Yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, oh, we went insane, didn't we? We did. I mean, of course, uh, that was just a mental game. And for us, I mean, mm. it was a lot of tension. And we, to get that away... We needed that goal. win, exactly. And I mean, it would have been perfect. Him and James Joyce, I find, are really starting to gel. Uh, mm. Much like he had in the past with uh, maybe Marco Rojas, Daniel yeah. Sop, or even to some extent, Harry Kiel, Carlos Hernandez. You know, it's really important to have Archie Thompson really just gel with whoever's, you know, exactly. that, that season's I mean, player. James Joyce, yeah, he's... Dropped off a little bit. I think, James, yeah. you got to pick up. You're dropping off Adam Taggart in the Golden Boot race. You're about mm. two. I think you're about two off now, two or three off. Come on, we want you to win that trophy. No, nah, yeah, it's true. I mean, what is it? But at the same time, Marco has scored 14 goals last season. Yeah. And we lost him. And of course, we're going to lose uh, James Teresi this season, which is it's going to be really tough. I, I hope that somehow we can re-sign him. I mean, I don't really see him starting for Atalanta or Juventus. Not yet. I mean, he needs a World Cup berth before he can. Okay, Bryce Clayton predictions for this week. I reckon that we're going to be out for revenge, obviously, as we've said quite a few times uh, this video. Um, in a yep. tip, 2-0. 2-0 victory, really? Yeah, Thomas is in pretty good form, and I reckon that Costa is hitting form as well, and Archie Thompson, I mean, a few combinations there, and yeah. Sydney are going to be, I can just see him being lackluster, I don't know, I can see us coming out really strong, and of course, of course, to, to, like forcing down our last home game, yeah. like, you know, enforcing our dominance at home for the final time this season. Absolutely, I mean, and to be honest, we, we were outclassed by Brisbane all last time, and we were outclassed by Sydney FC last time, but, you know, we yeah. obviously improved against Brisbane. Exactly, we were pretty much level with Brisbane, I reckon. We, yeah. Well, I guess we didn't have that many opportunities, Brisbane did have mm. quite a few more, but we did, pl we defended excellently. Of so course. I reckon if we defend like that, like we did against Yokohama as well, yeah. and the Perth Glory, then we should be fine. Here's the thing, bro. Can we even make finals? Because think about it. If worst comes to worst, uh, Sydney FC, right? Uh, they beat us 5 0 last time. Mm -hmm. all, right? all right? And then a couple of weeks afterwards, we got well into Phoenix. What did they do to us last time? Beat us 5 0. All right? Sure. That was a demolition job. Of course, the Newcastle Jets, well. Beat us 2 1 here. Yeah, last exactly. Time. Last yeah. time around. And yeah, of course, one I mean, away. we're going to be at the uh, Newcastle Jets game. So since we're there, you know, I think the boys can't lose. I think with, with us in the stadium, it just makes such a difference. But of course, Phoenix. Um, I mean, we, that that might become a must win, or it we could won just... last year the last round against Phoenix three two. Archie Thompson scoring late in that one as well. Yeah, so yeah, it's a good memory. I, I have confidence. I can have confidence in the boys. I mean, yes, of course, if we lose this weekend and Newcastle win, yeah. And, of course, Sydney, if they're beating us, uh, we could be one point outside missing out on the six. Look, I think... But, uh, if we win, then we go up to second. That's how close this season yeah. has been for all teams in the competition. I mean, if we win, sorry, um, home final secured. So, okay. Well, I think anything less than perfection much. isn't good enough for the Melbourne victory. But uh, my prediction, I, I swear... Uh, Del Piero is gonna. He scored two against us last time. He yep. says that he can't have another good performance against us. Um, I'd like to think it'll be a three-two victory to the Melbourne victory. Okay. Uh, Del Piero, so close, but anyway. <laughs> Alessandro Del Piero will uh, score um, uh, two bicycle kicks from halfway. <laughs> and uh, Orlando Engler. Oh man, yeah, that's yeah. <laughs> pretty good. Orlando Engler and Wayne Rooney on the weekend. Um, but of course, I think it'll be a Guy Finkler um, free kick. A uh, mm -hmm. James Troy see. We get one from along about 30 yards out. He's just going to no, yeah, pop definitely. it in the top top left corner. And uh, Mark Milligan, uh, someone's going to kick it in his face and it's going to rebound and go into the goal. Because <laughs> uh, that's exactly what he seems to be really good at as a bloke. So the winner from uh, Millsy. Uh, of course, that is all we have time for here on the yep. uh, MBS preview. We uh, really appreciate you guys watching all the way through this uh, lengthy video. We also would appreciate you guys hitting the subscribe button because we are working hard on these videos. Yeah, and, and we've definitely got plenty of a few more likes on Facebook. Oh, we're doing well. Yeah, yeah we're doing pretty well. I mean, almost 8,200 now. But yeah, uh, yeah keep going and uh, give some positive feedback on this or any feedback whatsoever just to let us know what you think of these videos. Of course. And 
yeah, stay tuned for our video next week of uh, Yokohama away. Yeah. Uh, come on, you boys in blue. Have a good week, guys. We'll see you next week against uh, Yokohama. All right, thanks for watching. See you guys next time. It's been a bit much, and Bryce Clayton has now joined us. Bryce, uh, you're, you're celebrating uh, a casual run, aren't you? These heads, they come down to our city and they f***ing us. What the f***? What are you looking at for? What? Just so, it's at? just so bad. Why is it bad? <laughs> this f*** is right. Right, you can be the casual guy. Right, now you're gonna do it up. Yeah, let's just swap up. Down here, we lost 5-0 and we'll be left for Last revenge. time, last time, Sydney FC came down here, right? You know, like, they came with their 300 lads, yeah? And it was like a big friggin' show, right? Because we were still pissed about November, yeah? Yeah, you sure. remember what happened in November? Yeah, Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Danny Redner Pinter, of course, it yeah. is casual round. All right? <laughs> I'm Bryce Clayton. Yeah, Bryce Clayton, you know, he's a wog, so you should oh know what's God. going on. All right, so you know what I've, I just did? I won, like, a, a Muay Thai, like, championship, and I f***ing broke the trophy. I was that hardcore. Okay, so to all the Sydney lads, it is casual round for us. Back in November, yeah, they yeah. stabbed us. Straight to yeah, Sydney yeah. afterwards. Yeah. My mate up. Taylor, and he pissed on the stadium, he got told to <laughs> f*** off. Yeah, no, nah, it didn't end too well. All right, so it's casual ambushed. round. You're, you're a Maltese guy, so you like to do this, right? All right, so, yep, okay, that's good. So we got a casual, bro. Get your colours off. You get us three points deducted. You know, it's not very cool. Hey, Sydney <laughs> lads, I'll see you, bro. Next time we, you come down, I'm going to see you, bro. Don't, don't, you know, screw with Danny. Yeah? <laughs> yeah? All right, don't mess with guys, yeah. Anyway, no, no, no scissors? Down, mate. Oh, all right, I'll knife them. I'll, I'll knife you, bro. I'm, I'm going to... I'm gonna knife ya and I'll, I'll buddy you good. I'll, yeah. <laughs> Alright. Uh, uh, this week's feature Sydney FC versus Melbourne Victory. Big Blue. Cool. Is that alright? It's terrible. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just thinking, like, he, he's a walk, he can't even do a walk accent properly, you know? <laughs>